deer and the antelope play. And who could be more at home on the range than the Range Rider? With his thrilling adventures of the great outdoors, his exciting experiences, rivaling those of Davy Crockett, Daniel Boone, Buffalo Bill, and other pioneers of this wonderful country of ours. And Dick West, All-American Boy. I'm not going to listen to your explanations any longer, Mr. Moore. I'm giving you notice to vacate. But why, Tom? Why? I've paid you a lot of rent. I've built up this business. Now you want to throw me out like I'm a crook or something. I told you why. This is a decent town. It was built on my homestead. I own every issue of it. That's one of the reasons why I wouldn't sell to anybody. Because I want to keep this town decent. Oh, I know every town has to have a casino for a man to relax. But I told you the gambling had to be on the level. And you're greedy, Moore. You're swindling my friends and I'm not going to stand for it. Well, as you say, you're the boss. You own this town lock, stock and barrel. I guess there's nothing to do but consider our arrangement terminated. Goodbye, Mr. Pinkert. I heard Tom had a bad heart, didn't you? Yeah, that's right. I even remember he had an attack once. I guess you better call the coroner, Bill. He's on our payroll. He'll do what we tell him to do. Figured out just what you're going to say to this Leslie character? Don't worry. He's probably just some old bookkeeper or farmer from back east. I just can't figure out why Pinkert would leave all that money to just one person. Me either. This much I do know, though, he's going to want to know whoever he is about Tom Pinkert's death. So remember, he got himself all excited when he lost his money and just fell dead with a heart attack. Didn't you bring in a man called Leslie Pinkert? I am Leslie Pinkert? Well, young man, just don't stand there with your mouth open. Say something. Well, I'm sorry, ma'am. Did you say your name is Leslie Pinkert? I most certainly did. <laughs> well, of course you did. Uh, excuse me for being so stupid. Allow me to introduce myself to my friends, Mr. Simmons and Mr. Grant, two associates of mine. My name is Donald Moore. How do you do? This is my niece, Jane Collins, and as you know, I'm Leslie Pinkert, the late Tom Pinkert's sister, and I'm very anxious to get to his ranch. Well, of course, there's a livery stable in town. I can rent a buckboard for you. Can you drive one? Young man, I drove a buckboard before you were born. Let's make all the arrangements and pile the luggage on. We'll start out for Rimrock right away. Yes, ma'am. You better come with me, Bill. Pete, keep an eye on that baggage until we get back to the buckboard. Right, boys. We'll let them drive it alone. A lot can happen in 10 miles. Mm. What's the matter? Burr in your saddle? I don't need any burrs. After that last rodeo, I'm just sore. Don't you feel anything? Sometimes I get sore, you just get used to it. I'm sore, and I'm not about to get used to it. I heard. Hey, sounds like trouble. That's 
go to work. Isn't that the Range Rider and his pal, Dick West? Yeah, come on, let's get out of here. Hey, that's quite a long rifle for a little girl, isn't it? I'm doing very well, thank you. Well, thanks for helping us out. We were getting along just fine. Well, I'm sure you were, ma'am. When you're attacked by bushwhackers like this, sometimes it's a good idea to have reinforcements. Where were you going? Maybe we could tag along. Well, we were going to Rim Rock. This is my niece, Jane Collins, and I'm Leslie Pinkert. Well, I'm the range rider, ma'am. This is my sidekick, Dick West. Well, don't bother to see us into town, because I think we'll get there safely now. Well, on um, uh, second thought, maybe we better not take any chances. Anyone ready for more pie? Gee, if I ate any more, I'd pop. Well, me too. I sure beat your cooking. Well, maybe I ought to stick around and pick up some pointers. You know, I never did really get an explanation of how my brother really died. They said it was his heart. The coroner's office will give you all the details, ma'am. And another thing, what was that ambush all about? Maybe Uncle Tom had some enemies, and you've inherited them. Well, I doubt it, Miss Jane. See, Mr. Pinkett was a fine old man. He had set ideas about certain things, but... He was fair and square. There's some people who might not like that. Come to think of it, this ranch house is about two or three miles from town. Maybe we ought to stick around here and give them some protection. Young man, I've been taking care of myself for 50 years, and I can still do it. Oh, but Aunt Leslie. Well, however, we have got a big ranch house, and there's plenty of room. Now, if you boys are so concerned about our safety, why... Well, we'll be glad to accept your hospitality. That is, until we get to the bottom of this ambush and find out who it is in this territory that doesn't like you. Won't we, partner, huh? That might be a good idea. If you don't mind, Dick and I will sleep outside. Outside? Certainly. That way we can keep a better eye on the house. Wouldn't they've got all those rooms inside? Right. Now I think Dick and I better go in town. Nosy around a little bit. Good, I'll go along with you. I want to find out a little bit more about my brother's death. Why don't we all go? Well... I suppose I could buy something. Well, let's go. Here come those two dames with their self-appointed bodyguards. There's the general store. Would you like me to go in with you? Uh, no, thank you. There's some things I'd like to get for myself. I'm going in to see Mr. Moore. The old lady's coming in here. You two boys better beat it. While you're outside, see if you can't convince the range rider and his pal that it might be wiser and healthier for them to leave town. Well, I think we can. According to a letter I received, I understand that my brother died in his casino. We'll wait out here for you, ma'am. That is, unless you'd like for us to go in with him. Thanks. I don't think it'll be necessary. <laughs> understand why Jane wouldn't let me help her do her shopping. Maybe there's some things that a young lady likes to do by herself. How would you like for her to help you pick out your long red flannel underwear? I don't wear that kind. And you know it. So that's the way it was, ma'am. I don't know how much money he lost. I guess it must have been in the thousands. Anyway, it upset him so much he just fell to the floor. And by the time the doctor got here, he was dead. I see. You know, there's just one thing that puzzles me, Mr. Moore. My brother was a very good man, religious and straight as a die, and very careful about his money. I don't understand how suddenly he'd start gambling. Well, unfortunately, ma'am, there's not much else to do for entertainment out in this part of the country. What are you trying to do, black off the whole porch here? Oh, I'm sorry. You're sorry. 
This town's crowded enough already. We don't need you two here. Why don't you beat it? <laughs> well, if the town's too crowded, why don't you leave? Well, you're just asking. <laughs> Gentlemen. You mean the range rider and his friend? Yes. Well, I don't like to tell you this, ma'am, and I hate to talk about anybody, but the range rider hasn't got too good a reputation around these parts. What do you mean? I thought he was very helpful and pleasant to my niece and myself. Sure, that's the way he is. Smooth as silk on the outside and tough on the inside. You just saw how he was fighting with those men outside. I don't like this whole business. I don't like it at all. I'm going to make some changes around here. For one thing, this fighting and drinking and gambling. I'm quite sure that when my brother founded Rimrock, he didn't intend it to be a godless town. Now, wait just a minute, Miss Moore. On the contrary, you wait a minute, Mr. Moore. As I understand it, I own this casino now. Is that not true? Well, it's never been quite decided who really owns it. However, I've been running things for quite a few years now. Nevertheless, as I understand it, this town was built on my brother's homestead. He merely rented out his properties. He never sold any. Well, that's not exactly true. Your brother and I ran this casino as partners. Now that he's dead, I figure I own the casino. You're going to have to prove that to me legally, Mr. Moore. And another thing, I don't believe what you said about the range rider. You're going to have to prove that to me also. That's quite a ride hook you got there. How's it start? Have well, a couple of the boys try to push us around, ma'am. Sorry. Guess we just didn't like it. You know, it's funny, that same thing happened to me, and I didn't like it either. Fine couple of tough guys you are. But boy, Shut up! Such... Couldn't take care of two no-good men. Maybe you can take care of one old lady. Do we have to sleep outside? Yep. Why? It's healthier. That Jane sure is a pretty girl. Yeah, I know. They're all pretty as far as you're concerned. She's different. And they're all different as far as you're concerned. Now try and get some sleep, will you? And put that gun away. get out of rim rock right away otherwise the next time it won't be a rock it'll be a bullet open up in there what happened a man a man at the window over there i don't see anything now Did you see what he looked like well how could i tell with his face all distorted against the window show them the note he threw through the window yes here read it for yourself what does it say, partner, huh? Looks like somebody's trying to scare Miss Pinkert out of town, Dick. But why? Why would they want to do that? Maybe your arrival here was kind of awkward for some people. By the way, what happened when you talked to Tom Moore this afternoon? Well, he said that my brother and he were partners, and 
because my brother died, he now owned the entire property. Can you prove it? That's what I asked him. Miss Pinkert, I don't mean to butt into your business, but I think you'd better go to the Office of Records and Deeds and check. Find out exactly where you stand. That's a good idea. We'll do it tomorrow. Fine. You know how to use this. Yes, and I won't miss either. Good. Good night. <laughs> And you should have seen him, boss. You thought they'd seen a ghost. Get the door, will you, Pete? Wait a minute, you. Why, Miss Pinkert, this is a pleasure. Don't you soft soap me, Mr. Moore. I have just come from the county clerk's office, and I found out that you and my brother were not partners in this nefarious enterprise. Why, Miss Pinkert, your brother was getting a cut on every dollar I took in in this place. Records show he got the rent. That's all. And that's not all. I can put you out without notice. It says so right here in your lease. And there's a copy of this down at the clerk's office, if you wish to look at it. Have you always lived in this part of the country? All my life. And just how long is all your life? Yes. Well... Now, Miss Pinker, can't we talk this thing over? That casino made your brother a lot of money. There's no reason it can't do the same for you. I don't want this money. My brother would be alive today if you didn't run this gambling hall. Sure you won't change your mind? My mind is made up once and for all. Now get out. Now, Pete. Relax. You too, Miss Pinkert. You men let us go this minute. Not until we've made some changes in that deed. Say, Pete, that niece of hers is outside. Grab her and you know where to take her. I'll join you later. Right. You can't do that. Turn around. You too. And you, Miss Pinkert. Now, you'll have to come to terms with me, Miss Pinkert. you won't, because if you go near the law, you'll never see your niece again. And I'm the only one that knows where she is. Well, all right, you thief, you kidnapper. I'll sign anything you want. That's better. Come on, Dick, we can still get the girl. You take care of that one, and I'll look after Mr. Moore. Good answer for the ranch, ma'am. lead up in the rocks. Let's go.
in the cabin. They better not hurt Jane. That's why we can't fire when I'm to hit her. Come on. She's right where we left her. Pick up your hat. We're going back to town. You can ride my horse, and, and I'll walk alongside. I don't mind riding double with you. Go on. Don't stop. Ride exactly what you told me. Wait a minute, Miss Pinkett. You don't have to sign anything. Young man, you forget that I've been here alone with Mr. Moore for over an hour. And he's just about to write out a confession stating that my brother did not die of a heart attack. He was murdered. Are you all right, dear? I am now. Well, go on. Keep right on writing. And don't forget to sign it when you're finished. We'll take it to the sheriff. I've got news for you, Miss Pinker. You're the sheriff. I'm the what? The sheriff. Don't you remember when we were over at the county office reading your brother's deed? Well, what's that got to do with it? On your brother's deed, it says that only a property owner can hold office in this town. Since you've inherited the whole town, you're not only the sheriff, but the mayor, the city council, or anything else that you want to be. So would you like to take charge of the prisoners, Sheriff Pinkert? Well, it will be a pleasure. Come on, you slicker, get up. Come on, get going. Hurry up. 